Hi everyone, it's Brooke and I recently turned 20 so I thought I'd share with you 20 things that I've learnt in 20 years. Although apparently I haven't got that many words of wisdom so it'll be just short but we'll see how we do. <laughs> the world doesn't wait for you. It's okay to take time off and to rest and to heal but at the end of the day the, the world is going to continue turning uh, life is going to continue around you. You should always think about how you're using your time. Time is more valuable than you think. This kind of leads on from my previous one. Um, I just think it's really important to spend as many days as you have doing what you love or at least doing something that betters the world. Do what you're passionate about and help other people, be good to other people and be good to yourself. You know, the world is unexpected and you kind of, you never know what's gonna happen. You do age pretty quickly, I think. Life is short, so use it the best you can. <laughs> it's better to do something imperfectly than to not do it at all, because I am quite a perfectionist. Many of the videos and the photos that I put out um, onto my socials have been uh, reshot after multiple sessions because I'm just never fully happy with it. But uh, you kind of have to forgive yourself for not being this perfect person because there is no perfect person. And social media can be very deceiving that that is, is an existing entity, kind of the, the perfect being. But as I said, at the end of the day, you don't have all the time in the world and it's better to show up for something, for a cause or for yourself or for other people imperfectly and to make that effort and have that thought behind it rather than nothing at all. Lose your inhibitions. I took a long time to realise this and I think life is much better and more fun when you just don't really care what others think and you shouldn't waste time thinking about how your what you do or how you look or how you express yourself affects other people as long as it's not hurting them do do what you want and don't be afraid to have fun with your life <laughs> get id for those of you who have turned 18 please get id please please take the step and get yourself some ID because I've been burned by this before um, at a gig that I was supposed to be playing at, um, uh, of which I got kicked out. I couldn't perform because I was over 18, yet I didn't have ID. So I know we're in a COVID-19 a COVID world at the moment, so there's not much going out. However, uh, just, just get it, just get just get the ID, okay? It will benefit you in your future. Formal education isn't everything and some things you can learn just as well by yourself at home from YouTube or from books or from internet courses. Formal education can be um, incredibly uh, valuable in terms of the connections you make with other people. However, I also think that some things can be done um, kind of more intuitively and independently and more importantly, voluntarily. That leads on to the next one, which is learning a new language can be really enjoyable when it is voluntary because I learnt multiple languages in school and it never kind of caught on, so I never furthered that into uh, fluency and then when I left education I decided to pursue I decided to pursue uh, learning a language of my own volition and I really enjoy it because I am the leader of my knowledge you will evolve and it is natural please don't stunt your growth for other people I'm a very firm believer of the fact that being true to yourself sometimes means changing. And if you try to maintain your previous beliefs um, 
and appearance and actions in your heart and your mind you have actually moved on it's kind of only going to hinder you you're not really showing your true self so don't hold on to whatever people think you need to always be evolve that's how humans came to be the good thing draw your own conclusions and make your own opinions i think this is really important not because going with the flow and with the trends is necessarily a bad thing but i think there is a lot of jumping on the bandwagon with many popular beliefs and social norms follow the stimulus and then make your own judgment based on the information that you see from that thing whether it be news whether it be an event whether it be music or art or something that you're interested in um don't just listen to other people's thoughts at least if they are not very informed extensively on the matter if somebody tells you that something is bad or wrong and that thing is not actually a crime um then i thoroughly recommend looking into it yourself and forming your own conclusions um and just your own opinion if you have an informed opinion you should stand by it don't linger on your mistakes um instead look back on them learn from them and then never dwell on them again because life is just too short and mistakes are great learning experiences but in the end they can't be changed they can't be rectified they can only be learned from so um use that to your advantage please adopt don't shop for your pets um there are so many animals that are in need of loving homes um and I believe it is uh far better to uh to take in the animals that don't have homes rather than pay for the breeding of the animals. Be exploratory with music. It took me a long time to uh really discover the music that I truly resonated with and that's because I always listen to uh what the people around me listen to it's really helpful to look outside of the box and to just entertain anything that comes your way so listen to strange music listen to underrated artists listen to left field artists to rock artists to punk artists um anything you might discover something that really connects to you much more than the other stuff Drastic change can be easy with the right motivation. I don't say this to disregard um anybody's struggles because everybody kind of has um their own hardships and some things just can't be avoided and are very tough to go through. However, um in terms of some lifestyle changes such as being more environmentally friendly, using less plastic, eating less animal products, shopping uh second hand and sustainably rather than from fast fashion and high street stores can be incredibly easy and intuitive to do with the right motivation and if your motivation is strong enough. Don't get fixated on the idea of being friends with somebody. um because it just leads to hurt on your part if a relationship is destined to happen then it will develop without being pushed by that i mean don't try so hard to be friends with people if they are not reciprocating relationships and friendships shouldn't be one sided and if they are uh it just means that they were not meant to be Comparison is natural but it's important to remember that the person who is being measured against as the standard also has shortcomings and likely has a side that is rarely ever shown um so just keep that in mind when you're when you're sizing yourself up against other people that it's very hard to see the outside from within
it's okay to change your mind and it's okay to have phases because it just leads to more experience and more knowledge of yourself. Don't underestimate the power of calm in the face of adversity. Uh, I find that it's um, much more productive and effective to stay uh, calm and clear when facing hate rather than involving emotion and getting angry and often if the person giving hate doesn't get a rise out of you it's more insulting to them. It's okay to say no to anything that makes you uncomfortable or anxious. You're the only person that can make your decisions and you shouldn't feel indebted to anyone to do something that makes you feel out of place. At some point, you will conform to society's narrative. I did this a lot myself when I was in school, wearing clothes that other people wore and liking music that other people liked. And it wasn't because I wanted to be that, but I wanted to be like the people who were liked it's a safety net to conform and you don't have as much of an immunity to societal pressures. And that's OK because it kind of builds up your resilience as you get older. Um, but I think it's also a learning experience because you learn the things that you do like by experiencing the things that you don't. Don't underestimate the universe's ability to surprise you. I think we've all learned this this year, 2020, I was sure it was going to be an incredible year for everybody. And obviously that didn't happen. But the response to everything that has occurred this year has been quite incredible from most of the planet. I think there's things you can plan for and there's things that you can take preventative measures against. But at the end of the day, you have to expect the unexpected anything can happen but that also means anything good can happen so have faith in fate and know that everything happens for a reason that's my last piece of advice <laughs> I've lost count I don't know if we've actually got to 20 or not but if you have any more useful life advice please put it in the comments below I hope this has been helpful to you I know that uh as all of us get older, we'll just kind of gain more wisdom on life. Maybe these 20 will be completely different next year, but this is what I've learned so far. Thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting me. And please be compassionate and kind to each other and kind to the environment. Please, please, please. And please be kind to yourself. Thank you. <laughs>